Welcome to the bike church. Uh, this is a place where if you already know how to fix your bike, you can just come use our tools. But if you don't know how to fix your bike, that's actually our primary mission is to help you learn how to fix your bike. Uh, so come on in. We operate by donation. We're all volunteers. We run the place. We have this neat little bike church ledger where we have people sign in. You sign in your name. Did you clean up? Did you donate anything? And do you have any comments for us? We're a non-denominational church. This is Jan the Baptist. This is uh, Darak. He also volunteers here. Cool. Uh, my name yes. is Darak Miller, or Derek, or however you like to pronounce it. I just kind of showed up and started fiddling around in the junk pile, taking apart bikes. Uh, that's the best way to learn, to just take apart stuff and just be around here a lot and watch people do stuff like she's doing right there. Uh, and, uh, I don't know, just kind of learn through experience, because it's all about experience, you know. You can read a lot in the book, but unless you actually do it. That's what, because that's what it's all about. It's about, you know, like the hands-on learning. How much it costs to come here versus coming to a, going to a, another bike shop in town? Um, I'd say we're at about maybe 25% of the cost, if not less, um, because you're doing the actual work. So one of my favorite things about the bike church is we have this huge uh, collection of old bikes. It's like a, a pick and pull of bikes. And you might want to watch your step while we walk out there. We have this huge array of bikes. Many of them have been donated. We also go to the bike auction that the university holds twice a year and we buy up their bone pile uh, of bikes that are abandoned on campus. So this is sort of where it all happens. We just get these bikes. People come here when we're open and they can use our tools. Some people come here and have never worked on a bike and they just had a bike stolen and they need to build a bike. So they take one of these starting from scratch and they build it all up, putting parts on it and then come home with a new bike. But the bike church is number one. I rebuilt this bike here. Yeah. You've got a very careful hand. This is our project pile. All these bikes are currently in process. Uh, just when spring quarter started, we had about seven people show up on the first day, all wanting to start building a brand new bike from scratch. And most of those are already done at this point now that we're midway through the quarter. But there's lots of projects underway, as you can see. Maybe we could make a little model of the of the Santa de la Bicicleta. Stick it in there, and then we could rig up little bitsies. I got some stuff here. Make sure we have, we have the proper lubrication. It's WD-40. So these are all recycled pieces. Here we've got a bunch of different front derailers, which are all good, but came off of bikes that maybe had a, a single flat tire. Um, well. Someone decided they didn't want the whole damn bike because of the flat tire, but um, we were able to take all the pieces off of it. Front derailers, rear, derail, rear der derailers, shifters, hubs for the wheels, and uh, then we can put together our, you know, all kinds of brand new bikes, essentially, brand new to you bikes. Um, really get people on, the, on their feet, on their wheels, so to say. I come... I'd say maybe once or twice a month lately, and um, I'm still I'm still learning how to work on bikes, and so I don't like to run a shift on my own. Um, I did once just incidentally, and somebody came in and they wanted like a uh, oh they were replacing their front brakes, and I um, didn't know how to do that, and so we were, we just pulled out a manual and I said okay let's learn together, and so that's what we did. <laughs> Well, it's got less solvent in there. The town is full of solvent, so it doesn't last as much. Ta-da! Are you happy now? I'm very happy.